Hey, I'm just like this by Airson, and this is their wireless projector. So this one actually has Wi-Fi built into it, so you can connect it through your phone. There's a little quick setup for you to use right here. So once you put your power on, press the input button a couple of times to it shifts right onto the multi-screen. So once it multi-screen, hit OK, and you can have two different modes where they say. So one is for Android, one is for Apple. So for Apple devices, this is multi-screen, and then Android you can press OK. So you just shift between the modes and you see a password. This password is 1 to 8, basically. So first they tell you to go to your phone, look for Wi-Fi, look for the projector, and then it'll be like projector model. And then use the password, get in the setup, and then slide from the bottom of the screen for the iPhone. And for the Androids, you have access to a wireless screen. Yet, of course, the alternatives of your phone you know, supports it. If your phone doesn't support it, then you might have a little problem. But no matter what, you still need to connect to your phone before you connect to the Wi-Fi basically. So you have an Android or a MacBook or anything like that, you can connect right to it, but you still need to connect to Wi-Fi by connecting to your phone. Because you know you need interface. So that's how that works. So here's the box, nothing too complicated. It's really simple. You have an A V wire right here for your old school devices that you need to connect to it. And then you have a user guide just in case you need it. The remote control right here. Pop open the lid and you reveal that you need two Triple A batteries right here. It even mentions it. it. Has pictures in there. Show you which way to put the battery in there, so you don't reverse it by accident. Power cable right here. Nothing too complicated. Fairly standard. And then of course the projector itself. So you know it's projector itself. That's a nice fingerprintless uh, finish right here. So you don't worry about fingerprints or anything at all because nothing that sticks. Oil doesn't stick to it. And you can see my fingerprints are not going anywhere, which is great. And then one side right here. Here's the headphone jack. You can plug in the speaker through here, connect it to your stereo system. Just It does have its own built-in speaker, but just because you like that more, you can use that as well. AV cable slot. SD card slot. You can plug in micro SD to an adapter. You can plug it in there as well. USB. Here's the output. So you how you charge phones or anything like that, or, or powering something else. Maybe you have a light that comes right above the projector so you can see stuff. And you plug it in or unplug it after you're done. HDMI cable. So you plug this into your laptop and project it onto the projector. You have the old VGA. And then you have the infrared sensor right here. You have outputs all around for air. There's the power button right here. Here's some, two adjusters. One's the focus, one is the keystone. The lid right here pops off just like that. Nothing too complicated, right? And you can see the lens right there, very nicely made. Now, if you want to check it out, just take a little shift right here. You can see it pop out and push it back again. Now, keystone is the tilt, so it just goes up only a little bit, and basically. Your, your projector is going to look like this, and if it's off, it's going to be like, okay, one side and then the other, and then one side is going to be a little fuzzy, the other side is very clear, but if you make it equal out, then top and bottom will be clear, basically. And if you're done, you pop on the slits, nice plastic, there's a little hole right here, so you can tie a lantern to it. If I was going to tie a lantern, I'd probably tie it to this little stem right here at the base. This stem does pop out a little bit, so you can raise it just like the old school projectors. And then install a tripod stand in case that's the way you're doing it, or you can wall mount it onto the ceiling as well. Rubber feet right here, and then it says power voltage 1 to 240, which means you take it internationally and just need the right adapter. And you'll need a transformer or anything like that. It's LED, which means it takes you know not a lot of power compared to an old school one, so it don't output as much heat. And the lamp itself is LCD. And then you see right here, there's certification and protection, there's a speaker slot down here in the base. But overall, not too bad, very lightweight, very compact. I'm going to plug this in, give you a quick example, so stick in for that. Oh, then, hey, thanks for watching. Alright, so over here, you're probably wondering, does this work? So let's hit the power button twice. This thing's a flashing thing. And it loads up. So it's LED projector. Hmm. Pretty clear. Slow it load all the way through. Let's see how fast that looks. That's very fast. I'm just shooting this on a wall actually. There's nothing special about this wall. It's a regular wall. So here's the keystone, tilting it up and down just like that. If I adjust the focus, it could be a little blurry, so you know, watch your head. See here, it's a little blurry. It's nice and sharp. So you want to find that point where it's not showing you can go too far, it gets blurry again. Yeah, you know, that's the regular thing. So keystone affects the location of blurriness, so it's up or down. And you know, the angle is just about right. Now we have settings inside this as well to adjust into things. So you want to get familiar with the buttons, so you press the button, you're like, oh, what's it doing? Well, it's not doing anything. Maybe that was the backwards button. Now you have arrow keys right here. So you see here, there's VGA, there's USB, so there's different things, settings here. So you have different ways to go through settings, so make sure you get familiar with them. And what's the first thing you do is you want to get through the input. 
that's the most important thing because you have the wrong input then you have the wrong setting so you want to hit the, arrow, hit the keys pop it to your right spot just like you're here USB so back over so let's try setting the buttons to hit the right button I mean, you gotta get used to it. If you're not used to it, you're not gonna get to it. So, hit the button up top. So, I see the first button up top. Goes to all these buttons. So, you see SD card. That's what I want. So, I hit OK. I'm converting to my SD card now. So, let's say I wanna go back to movies. Let's say OK. I wanna select OK movies. Siege disc. DCIM. So, this is my actually my SD card. Going right through it. So I'll give you a quick example real quick. So what's nice about having all these buttons is I have access to everything. So there we go. Just hit the play button right here. And let it go. So it takes a little bit. It's loading through. You can double tap it. It goes into the full screen. Now any blurriness is from the file itself. So it's not from the projector or anything like that. There is volume as well. So hit the arrow keys. I have adjustment to volume so I can increase it. A little louder. Ew, it's so yeah, that's cute. It's our video of our cat. And it's right there for easy use. Hit the OK button <laughs> twice. You have access to menus right here. And it'll repeat itself over and over again until you hit the pause button or anything like that. So you see right here, fast forward, previous, next. There's a stop button as well. It looks you right out of everything. So you go back out, you can just click, click settings if you need to. There's multi, so multi right here is for your phone. So this is for those who have Wi-Fi connections right here, so that's from multi right there. But overall not too bad for easy use. So you can load some of the Wi-Fi, it gives you all these things you need to connect here, even the passwords on here as well. It also tells you the app to use for it. But overall pretty easy to use. So try it out. See how it works. If it doesn't work out, you always just return it, right? So that's my Airson. Also to your questions, shoot me a comment. Oh no, hey, thanks for watching.